Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Yes, yes, yes. It is time for another Olight review. This is one of those times where all of your favorite YouTube channels are going to be featuring this particular Olight over the next 24 hour period. Um, I'm going to tell you what, here's what you need to do. Just go ahead and watch my review because it's the best one. And then you don't have to spend any more time watching the other videos because you're going to get all the information you need right here. So anyway, let's just go right into the unboxing. We'll have a chance to test out this product in the dark. We'll test it out on a firearm, see how well it holds up. We'll check out the laser and just see what it has to offer. Uh, so what we have here is the Olight Balder Pro. Um, and this is the limited edition, which comes in a midnight blue finish. So I'm assuming I've got the midnight blue finish in the box. I never really know until I open up these boxes. And Olight did send this to me, by the way, um, in the nature of full disclosure, two tests on the channel to, to try out and just give my review on it. Really just, it's got some pretty impressive stats just right out of the box. We're looking at a max brightness of 1,350 lumens, a throw of 260 meters. I wish I could tell you what that was in feet, but I'm an American, so I have no idea. So let's go and get this box open and check it out. I will be testing it on my Glock 17 Gen 4. It is Glock compatible right out of the box and it does have additional uh, Picatinny brackets that you can use if you've got a Picatinny accessory rail on your firearm. So whenever you get these Olights there's usually going to be some sort of a tab or you know a piece of plastic in the way like a lot of other flashlights and uh, that's going to prevent the batteries from running out and again this one, one this one's going to run on two uh, CR123 batteries if I'm not mistaken. And before we take a look at the design overall let's go ahead and talk about the technical specs. Um, it has a super bright LED like I said before 1350 lumens with a strobe mode uh, perfect for tactical applications impressive green laser it is a less than five milliwatt green laser uh, which is five times brighter than red according to what the what Olight says right here and it says it makes the laser visible even during daylight so we'll definitely check that out on a bright sunny day we'll see how well the laser is is going to work also it's compatible with Glock FN HK uh, Ruger Six Hour Smith & Wesson Springfield Taurus etc and it's offered in uh, matte black or midnight blue. So obviously some of the features that they talk about is the fact that you can just use the white light or you can use the laser or you can use the laser and the light together at the same time. The uh, design looks very similar to my Streamlight TLR1. It's just a single arm to release the tension and then you pull back and that's gonna lock it into place. I do like that design. And this is, you'll flip open the tab and pull off the cap if you wanna get the batteries out. Uh, let's see, remove the cover before use. Okay, so fit and finish on this thing looks really, really good. It's nice and smooth. I don't see any nicks or burr marks. It looks really well done. I mean, I, honestly, it, it does seem to match the overall appearance of the TLR1, which is kind of the, the stream light, which is kind of the standard that I tend to follow. It's the, the light I've had on my Glock for a long time. It's got the little GL tab in place for your Glock accessory rail. And uh, I don't know, so let's go ahead and mount it and see what it looks like when we put it on the firearm. Actually, uh, one thing I want to point out to you real quick before we start, you've got the laser only mode, you've got the laser and light mode, and you've got the light only mode. And once it gets dark, we'll test this out in pitch black and see how well it lights up the apartment. Uh, maybe take it outside and see what it does just outdoors, just shining it in some dark areas around the, uh, the complex where I live. And again, buttons are very responsive. You just click on the back, super bright, either or. And we can turn on the uh, the laser and the light combo. Woo. Ah, so if you do a twin click, it's going to go into strobe. Okay. That's your laser light combo right there. And then just the laser. Very, very cool. All right, let's go ahead and get this mounted. All right, and as you know, the, uh, the firearm was obviously empty prior to us filming. You can see it sitting there. I just want to say this right now. This just looks cool. All right, this just looks really nice on here it's nice and streamlined it's an aluminum alloy body uh, four and a half ounces and here's a comparison to the tlr1 hl which you can tell there's definitely some difference there in in height just because of that laser sticking off the bottom it's really not a big deal um holsters may possibly be an issue initially you might have to get a custom-made holster for this i'm not sure if this would fit another form factor for a more popular model of light that's already out there but uh again Let's see, let's check out the button actuation. It's a little bit of a stretch for my finger, but I've only got medium sized hands. Okay, but I can catch it right and left. I do like the nice, the nice way that it curves back. I do like it better than the buttons you have to switch down. I always thought that was kind of awkward on something like the TLR1, the way that the mechanism works on the back. Okay, let's go ahead and put the light on here. There we go. Nice and bright. Obviously it's daylight, so you can't get a full feel for what it's like. Ambidextrous. They do talk about the one-handed removal, which is really nice. You just kind of put it on there and the tension keeps it in place. Then you pull back on the little claw arm and it's good to go. 
Uh, like I said before, four and a half ounces. Oh, now that I think about it, this one does not have the midnight blue finish. Okay, so I don't know if the limited edition is just because it's gonna be offered with a laser for a short period of time or if it's the design or what it is exactly, but this is the limited edition model, but you can get it with midnight blue. All right, all right, so let's take a look at the uh, the runtime of this thing. What are we talking about here? With 1,350 lumens, it looks like you're gonna get 125 minutes of runtime. After one minute, I think it steps down just a little bit to save the battery. If it's on low, if you're running 300 lumen mode, uh, that's gonna ta that's gonna last you four hours. Uh, with the laser on on high, with the light on high, with the laser on combined, you're looking at 115 minutes, and with the flashlight on low and the laser on, three hours and 30 minutes. So the laser really does not draw that much current. Uh, looks like it's drop resistant to one meter. It's IPX4 resistant uh, to water intrusion. And again, 4.55 ounces. It is 3.30 inches long and oh, let's see 1.75 inches across all right now if you want to turn down the light level you press it one time to turn it on and then double click really quick here you go and it'll step down you, if you turn it off it'll reset up back up to high again okay so you have it on go ahead and double click okay it goes back to bright there you go all right, so we're gonna wait for it to get dark. We'll just see how well this thing lights up the uh, apartment and then we'll take it off the gun and go walk around outside a little bit and see how well it lights up just uh, pitch black outdoors. All right, hang tight. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and check out the high beam 1,350 lumens. It's totally dark here in the apartment. There's a little bit of bounce off the walls uh, that you're seeing in the camera. It's really not as bright as it appears. You don't have that glare like you guys are seeing right now. It's not whiting out at all. Uh, it's just my camera magnifying the light level. Light up the stairs. Let's go ahead and turn the light off. Turn it back on. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and put this down in low mode. That's your 300 lumens. Not quite as bright, but still plenty of illumination. There we go. All right, let's go and check out the uh, laser and light at the same time and see what that looks like when we put it on. Because again, you wouldn't use the laser by itself, just in the dark. Okay, here we go. This is on low with the laser. I don't know if you guys can see the green dot or not. It might not be showing up in the camera, but it's there. There we go. A little more of a projection for you there when it's darker. But the dot is, is perfect. It's great. You can see it just fine. So here's the dot, kind of interesting. Um, it is very bright. When I put it up on the wall, it pretty much just washes out, but it is a very sharp dot. I uh, can't really tell about the size, but uh, again, we'll follow it downstairs and here we go. Pretty powerful laser, I will say that. It does light things up really well. Okay, so I looked it up and I did the math, and apparently one meter is more or less three feet and 3.37 inches, which just happens to be the height of my door hinge over here for my lock for my door handle. So we're going to turn the laser on and the flashlight on, and then we'll drop it and see if the flashlight's going to survive. If it breaks, I'm going to leave it on camera. You guys are going to see it. I'm just going to drop it straight down, just like as if you were to drop your pistol or whatever. We're not going to try to soften the blow on the, uh, on the light. It's going to go right on the concrete. All right, here we go. Okay, light laser's on. Let's see what happened. Okay, light and laser are both still on. And when I dropped, the only damage it really did was just a little tiny nick mark on the back here, and that's it. Otherwise, it looks like the light survived it pretty good. Okay, I've got the beam on high. Let's try it in a not so reflective environment like a field. This is uh, really good lighting. Again, it looks better in real life than what you guys are seeing, but it's throwing a beam, you know, eighth of a mile across the field right now. Plenty of light. Really lights it up. All right, let's go ahead and try uh, 300 lumens. Okay. Not quite as bright, but still, if you want to prolong that battery life, this is definitely the way to go. Awesome. All right, why don't we go ahead and put a few rounds down range and see how well the light can hold up to actually being fired off a firearm, being fired with a firearm. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and run uh, three magazines through the G17 Gen 4. We're running 115 grain uh, American Eagle full metal jackets and also some Fiocchi 115 grain in a separate mag. 
I did forget to bring my little Allen key with me, so I'm not going to be able to do any accuracy testing of it. Um, and then, but I will do a magazine with the green dot down on the target, just so you can see what the green dot looks like in the, in the, in the light. And I'll just take some shots and see how much it's off or on, just to kind of give you an idea. So the idea here about this is, is it going to survive just three magazines of ammunition? Shouldn't have any problems. I've had cheaper lights in the past that have broken down and just quit working after a mag or two. So that's why I quit buying cheap flashlights a long time ago. All right, so we've got the laser light on, as you can see. After every magazine, we'll just flash it at the camera and confirm it's still running. It's on there nice and tight. All right, here we go. Still on. Laser still on. Okay, magazine number two. Normally I run about 100 rounds through these guns on any of these Olight videos that I've done. And it's not that I'm super low on 9mm, but I'm kind of holding on to it. So we're just going to do the three mags for today. And then one magazine with the green light or with the uh, green laser on. Looks like I'm shooting to the left as usual. I think I need to make a side adjustment. All right, magazine number two. Here we go. Okay, laser and light, still on. Okay, final magazine. Again, like if it's gonna handle this, it should handle most of your situations you run into. Although I can't think about the long-term durability, this is a good thing. All right, final mag, here we go. Lights on, lasers on, it's a good sign. Now I'll go ahead and set the uh, camera up on the target. We'll put the green dot on it so you can see what it looks like in bright light. All right, let's continue. Oh, way high to the left. At least I know it's on paper, so that's good. Alright, so just a few things I want to say before we wrap it up with the Balder Pro light laser combo. I probably should have said that this is more comparable to the TLR TL10 from Streamlight laser light combo. Uh, very close in specifications, but the Olight does offer two advantages over that particular light. Uh, for one, this does have an extra 350 lumens. And two, it does have a price that's about $150 to $160 less than the Streamlight. Like I said, it seems to be very well built. It has survived a little bit of shooting at the range. And again, I do apologize that I couldn't show you a true accuracy test because I forgot the little hex key at home. But uh, maybe we'll do another video and just see what it's like shooting with a laser. Um, obviously on a bright target, on it's kind of weird. When it's really bright outside, if you've got a, a, a lot of light on your target and you've got any dark or shadow on it, like I had the little red bullseye or the black ring, you can't see the dot at all. I could see the dot on the white paper, so I was putting on the paper and then bringing it up. So if you're thinking about using a laser in the daylight, I just, I'm just saying, you know, if you happen to do that, or if you're in like a kind of like an indoor situation where it's well lit, it should be fairly bright. You know, we've seen that before and it's pretty good. But uh, again, you know, I, at that situation, I maybe just rely on the sights. But uh, let's talk price. Like we said, it is a little bit cheaper, a lot cheaper than the, uh, the Streamlight TLR10. Um, over on the Olight website, you're going to be able to pick this up. Now, it's going to be available for sale for all customers on August 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 o'clock Central Time. And I'm going to release this video. Well, if you're watching this video, it should be around 5 o'clock Central Time, 6 o'clock Eastern Time. If you just want to go with just the, the black laser light combo, we're looking at $104.97. If you want to go with the midnight blue, it's going to be $111.97. 
And Olight is also offering some free gifts depending on how much you spend. If you spend $129, you're going to get an, a 13T orange light for free. If you spend over $229, you're going to get a free SR1 Baton 2 in black, which is a $64.95 value. And if you spend over $359, you're going to get a free MR2 Pro black in black for that's got an MSRP of $109.95. So if when you click on that little offer on the website, they're going to give you the code that you're going to need. Also, if you want a 10% off discount on your order and it's not for the sale item, so it's not going to count for the Baller Pro, unfortunately, uh, use the discount code TravisP11 when you check out and that'll get you, I believe, 10% off your order. And then I've got an affiliate link. If you would use that when you're making any purchase from the Olight website, it's down in the description box. It's down in the comment box. That'll help on my channel too. All right, so there you have it, guys. We tested the Balder Pro on a firearm. We have dropped it. We have tested it at nighttime. We showed you what the laser looks like in a low light situation in the house and also outdoors. Uh, didn't do any water testing on it. I really don't want to submerse it. I don't have access to one meter of water to test the water resistance of it. But again, uh, you know, if you use it out in the rain, you should be fine. I don't think you have to worry about it. You've got a nice gasket on the back seal here for the battery compartment. Everything looks nice and tight. So you should be good to go. All right, guys, so that's it. I want to thank you for watching today. I want you guys to have fun. I want you to be safe. Please like and subscribe. Click on that affiliate link, head on over to Olight. I want you guys to have fun. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.